What up guys, my name is Kong and today I'm back again for another movie review. Today I'm going to be talking about Venom. Um, this movie I try not to have any expectation because you know in past experience when I have expectation I tend to be disappointed. So you all know who Venom is, is anti-hero from the Marvel Universe. So let's get to it, right? I get to what I like and I then I, I dislike and then my rating and my, my recommendation. What did I like? I love the design and all of the of Venom of um can't remember his name, the, uh, the the boss at the end, so to speak. I like the design um of Venom really. And I like the voiceover of Venom. And I think Tom Hardy did the voice for it. I love the voice. I love that, uh, you know, dynamic, that, you know, relationship. I really do enjoy that a lot. I liked it. Um, see, what else did I like? I liked the, uh, the, some of the humor. I like it. Some of it didn't really hit. Some of it hit. But it was something that was funny. You know, I liked it. Uh, some of the action was good enough. It was... I wish it was a little bit more better, but we'll get to that. Uh, what else did I like? Hmm, the, that's pretty much it overall that I can think of right now. So what I did not like well, it was a few, I want to say plot hole, but there's a few questions like how did the, the one um, uh, symbiote was able to know where to go back to, you know, to find Venom, to go back to the place of origin. I just, how did it know that? And one, and how did, um, how did uh, also, uh, I'm sorry, how did, okay, so at toward the end, I'm gonna ruin it for you guys, but how did Venom, know where to find uh, Eddie Brock at towards the end. It's like, how did he know? Or the female Venom, which is Eddie Brock's girlfriend. And then also, uh, another thing is that his girlfriend, they are obviously, they broke up, they called the marriages off, and she's, uh, you know, still love him, but I just don't get it. And then she have another guy that she's dating. I was like, damn. This girl, this lady, she have guys waiting in line for her or some something like that, you know. It feel like her breakup is just feels so quick. It doesn't fit. It feel like she's just, you know, just one of those girl lady that she doesn't have a problem. It just doesn't feel dramatic. Doesn't feel impactful. It feel like it's just you know gone like that, and he's kind of moping, and she just move on. It's just feel doesn't natural especially when you're at that age when you're not the age but that process of getting married and you spend all the year together you think it'll have some sort of impact on both both uh parties so that's one thing and then what i also did not like was we get little actions i think the best action would be the the you know SWAT action that was the best I believe it was kind of mysterious it was uh, uh almost hide and seek I like that and that was the beginning though so the the worst I didn't like with the toward the end you know with Venom fights uh the boss I guess you can say alien symbiote so it didn't feel great it feel kind of sloppy it, if the cgi wasn't great it wasn't defined it wasn't uh, um well choreographed it just feel all over the places you know it, it moved a little too fast for the same and they may move fast but it not in a way they can actually understand what's going on see what's going on so that's why i didn't really like what else did i didn't like ah uh, just Overall, the movie just didn't quite hit it. Oh, and another thing I didn't like was it was PG-13 and wasn't... Uh, the violence was kind of off screen a little bit. But toward the end, it was kind of like teetering on that line of... 
actual violence and you know rated R and non rated R. So you know that's one thing. It's just it, it hit and miss both. You know, I like it because they did Venom justice, his characters, his demeanor, the whole you know we are Venom that that whole idea or that whole um, concept. I like that, but the stories and and the way they executed didn't really nail it. Didn't do it justice like Logan did. But, you know, it was all right. And, you know, it's, a, it's Sony's way of getting back into the game, I hope. But what was the rating I would give this movie? I give it a 5 out of 10. I really do give it a 5 out of 10. I did laugh. I did enjoy it. Some part. Um, I liked Venom as a character. They did it well. They did a great job designing Venom. I did not like that the story was kind of generic. Uh, the girl was, she felt like kind of, eh. It just didn't feel unique. Didn't feel raw. Didn't feel uh, rated R. Didn't feel that the sheer violence of cynicism. Uh, the cynicism in the movie. You just didn't quite feel it. feel kind of, uh, dare to say, PG-13, you know. Didn't feel, you know, raw and visceral and bloody and gory. I wish it was that. More of that. Because Venom is supposed to be gory, dirty, and, you know, all that. So, again, guys, 5 out of 10. I say go watch it if you're. I say you go watch it if you're not a hardcore Venom fan. Uh, I say go if you don't really care and you want to go see a, a movie this weekend, then go watch it. If you are diehard hardcore, I don't know. This may hurt, might hurt your heart, it might break your heart, I should say. Um, so. Mate, that is up to you. You you make that decision. Decide for yourself what you want to go see. If not, what you do. But anyway, I want to say thank you so much for your time and effort. Please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, and browse my YouTube channel. I have a lot of contents on there for you guys to check out. But anyway, take care guys. Bye-bye.